and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Avery. Welcome. I do lifestyle vlogs. I live in New York City and do fun travel, fashion content, all that good stuff. Normally, I don't look like this when staring at a video, but I think I'm getting sick. So I, it is like 6 p.m. and I'm already in my PJs and I'm literally going to get in bed in like 20 minutes after I eat dinner. But I wanted to start off the vlog because I only have a few days left in the city before I go home for the holidays and I'm in the midst of decorating my apartment for Christmas and I have some fun Christmas things going on. I have my holiday work party tomorrow which I want to try to get a few clips of and just some another holiday party I think on Saturday and just like some fun stuff going on so thought I would vlog this week and show you guys but just want to show you also reality because I think I'm sick. I started feeling bad my last couple days. I just got back from Paris actually which if you didn't watch my little Paris vlog, definitely go watch it. It's only like eight minutes long, but it was cute. So I still wanted to upload it, even though it was so short. But anyways, long story short, I just got back on Saturday night and it's Tuesday and I started feeling sick on like Friday. So, and then I went out for my birthday, like a belated birthday dinner last night with friends. And I probably drank like, I don't even know, like an entire bottle of wine to myself, which in the moment I didn't feel like I was doing, but now looking back, like I think I had four glasses of wine so like almost a whole bottle anyway so i'm not feeling so great today i just got back from the office um i have to go in three days a week so yes today is my first day and i'm also going in tomorrow and thursday i think but after the office i stopped by target because i had to pick up um i did like an order pickup i got these little frames for these really cute prints i got at the dior museum in um paris and i want to hang them like in a cute little spot on the wall somewhere so technically they're just like um regular like sitting frames or whatever you call them but i'm just gonna hang them on the wall so i'm excited to do that and then i also had to pick up some batteries because some of my christmas decor pieces needed batteries plus i want to do i want to finally get batteries for all the lights in my fireplace so i'll show you guys that but then when i was there i also got night because i'm not feeling well i'm gonna pop that after dinner but more importantly i got the new poppy the new poppy holiday flavors i'm so excited i kind of forgot how much i love poppy i used to drink like poppy or olipop all the time as a fun little drink and i haven't gotten one in so long so i picked them up i got this one has a dock pop cherry limeade ginger lime and cranberry fizz and the cranberry fizz is the limited holiday flavor so i think i might try that one tonight over a little bit of ice i have salmon in the air fryer and i'm cooking brussels sprouts on the stove top my new year's resolution is to get back into meal prepping and eating healthier and just having healthier habits i haven't been very good about like going to the gym well i don't have a gym but i feel like i've just like just gotten like way off my um workout grind and like healthy eating grind i haven't meal prepped in like so long or like i'll meal prep here and there but not consistently i used to be so good going to trader joe's every sunday and meal prepping and now it's just hard because i live so far away from trader joe's but it's only like a 25 minute bus ride so i'm going to start doing that anyways i don't know why i got this got in this spiel but just trying to be better about cooking healthy meals here and there when i can so I'll show you my dinner, I guess, when it's so done, but it, it's it's nothing groundbreaking. Okay, I'm back. My apartment is a literal mess, and I have all these Amazon boxes behind me. I need to unbox and open, so I thought we could do it together because I opened, or I ordered a lot of stuff to organize my apartment. I've been in the apartment now since October 1st, like mid, no, mid-October, yeah, like mid-October. Um, I think my lease are on the 11th, actually, now that I'm remembering, but... I have just been in the midst of still organizing. I haven't gotten a lot of stuff that I need. Like, for example, I don't have mixing bowls, which isn't even something I ordered, but like I just have all these small things that I need because I literally started from scratch after moving out of my sublease. So, started from scratch and I have a very small space. I don't have like, I have one closet and like I have one, two, three, four, five cabinets in my kitchen and that's literally it. So, I needed to get, um, I needed to get creative with my organization so and I'm just like not a very organized person if you know me personally I kind of just throw things wherever they go and I just that's just how I live my life which isn't a good thing so I want to get better about it so I thought I'd show you what I got oh oh my god these are so small okay well I got these little black hooks to hang in my closet because I have a lot of wall space that I wanted to put hooks on to hang like jackets or purses or something so I got these little black things which I guess they're fine now that I'm looking at it but like they're really small so I hope they hold hold up a lot I was gonna like hang coats on them but they'll do for now I guess maybe I'll just put my purses on them or something 
Or maybe I'll just order more hooks and see which ones I like better. I don't know. Um, so I got, that's one thing I got. Then I got this silverware organizer for one of my drawers because I have a really, really skinny drawer. And honestly, I don't even know if this will fit. It looks really, I think width-wise it'll fit, but it looks a little bit too long. So we'll see about that. Oh, then this is for my kitchen cabinets. I'm excited about. I don't think you'll be able to see it by me opening it, so maybe I'll just try to show you the picture. But basically, there's these little stands that I want to put in my kitchen cabinet so I can stack things. Um, I think this would be good for my mugs or for my vitamins and like peanut butter seasonings, like stuff like that that I can stack on. So I'm gonna build these tonight and set those up too. Actually, I don't know if I'll do that tonight. I'm like so tired, but we'll see. Next. I think this might be a frame. So I ordered frames for two pictures I have that I want to hang um, that are like weird sizes. So I hope that these work, but all the rest of my artwork should be coming in the mail this week. I've been asking my family to ship it for literally like two and a half months and, and no one will ship it to me. So I really, really hope that it gets shipped this week because I want to hang them up before I get back for the new year. I don't know why. I just like, I hate having bed empty walls. It makes it feel so much less homey in here. And I just like, I want everything to be done and be perfect. So this is one of the frames I used or I got. I hope it's like gray. It looks kind of weird. I think I need to like fix the glass on it, but this is it. Okay. I'm sure this is like riveting stuff for you guys seeing my boring Amazon unboxing, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, next. We got... You know, one thing that sucks about living in this apartment, I will say that all the other apartments did for me is I could, whenever I had like boxes like these, I just had like a trash chute or like a trash room that we would just throw, everyone would throw their boxes in and then keep, the person would come around and um, and they would like break down your boxes for you, or, like take the trash away. I have to take my trash all the way at, downstairs outside of my apartment and unlock this trash chute and put my trash in it. But I also have to break down all of my boxes and then like put them in a clear, they want them specifically in a clear plastic trash bag broken down and if they don't fit in a clear plastic trash bag we have to break them down and use tape to tie around the box and then put them in this like specific spot next to the trash cans that are locked I don't know it's this, it's this whole thing and it's extremely annoying honestly um one of the many reasons I sometimes hate living in New York but this is another frame so I'm not gonna open it I'll show you guys later and then what is this Oh, these are um, closet organizer things I got for my new piece of furniture that I'm gonna put like underwear, socks, and like bras and stuff in. Because currently I just have it all shoved in there. So that's just like how I like to do things apparently. Also, I think my food might be burning, so I might have to go. Um, but we're almost done. What did I get? Yeah, it's burning. So the thing that really annoys me about my apartment is, I don't know if it's just because it's so small in here, but the fire alarm, fire alarm goes off literally every time I cook. And, like, my Brussels sprouts are, like, kind of burnt, but, like, they're just crispy. Like, I feel like that's not even that burnt for my fire alarm to go off. And, like, my air fryer salmon is just, like, crispy. Like, it's just so annoying that literally every time I cook, that freaking fire alarm goes off. Anyways, whatever. This is dinner. I'm going to let it cool down, and we'll get back to our Amazon unboxing. Please ignore how gross my kitchen looks. I'm so sorry. Okay, we are back post fire alarm break in. Um, I was just showing you guys these things, which I kind of can't remember what I got these for. I think also just for my cabinet for, oh, I think I wanted to put like my tote bags and stuff in here because currently I have all of my like totes and just like random miscellaneous stuff in this drawer and this cabinet and they're just like spewing about. So I got these little like, I don't know, little cabinet, what are they called? Cabinet tier basket drawer things that I feel like will be nice to just like be able to like pull in and out. I feel like something will work for this. And then I only have one more box. So let's see. Oh no, I have two more things. I don't know. This is already opened. This is for my um, Element electrolytes. If you guys don't know, I love Element electrolytes. 
I have to order them like every month because I always run out of them. They're so good. Um, okay. Oh, these things I'm really excited about. Why do you have to put why do you have to put like literally everything together? Like why can't this just already come put together? So annoying. But you can't really tell what they're gonna be, but anyways, they're over the cabinet door organizers. So since I literally only have two under like I have one cabinet under my sink and one kind of next to my stove. I thought these would be good to hang on the back of the cabinet so I can like stick, you can stick like cooking sheets in there or like, I don't know, they show like different kitchen utensils that you can just put in there. I thought it'd be good for like trash bags, Ziploc bags, um, just like random stuff like that. So I'm excited about these. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm already gonna feel so much more organized, especially when I get those hooks up in my closet because my closet is a freaking mess, but I feel like once I have hooks on the wall and I can like start hanging things a little bit more easily, maybe that'll be like, I don't know, a little bit more helpful, but currently I have no idea what to do with all my clothes. So the only thing I can do is just keep getting rid of stuff, but it's a hard life to live. All right, I'm going to eat dinner and attempt to start to do some of this stuff, but my throat is already starting to hurt from talking, so probably won't and I want to preserve my energy because like I said it's my holiday Christmas party tomorrow and it's actually going to be at the plaza which I'm so excited about they even had a little like Eloise picture on the invite which was really cute um because Eloise the plaza if you don't know what that means it's like the little girl cartoon that people used to watch um so yeah I'm really excited I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear and I just have so much so much going on I also tomorrow morning before work was supposed to shoot a campaign with jenna i don't know if we're doing it anymore it's like 6 30 i haven't heard anything but i'm like free all week so i can shoot it whenever so i'm not gonna like push to do tomorrow if it if it doesn't work so i don't know when we're gonna do that but anyways i'm i'm rambling um i'm going to eat dinner and i will do a taste test of my olive hey guys look how cute the can even is i'm obsessed cranberry fizz i'm gonna put it in my cute little holiday cup I got from Anthropology that I'm obsessed with. They have them for different studies. I got the good tidings from NYC one, but let me pour this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with one hand, but we will ah, attempt it. Especially because I'm doing it with my left hand. It always confuses me that poppies aren't as fizzy as like normal soda because I'm so used to that. I like can't do anything right now. Okay, yay, taste test. Mmm, it's actually really good. It does taste holiday ish. Like, I don't think it's my favorite poppy flavor if I had to choose one, but I don't mind drinking it. Like, I'm definitely going to finish it. And I would buy it again. It's actually very, like, very light and refreshing. Honestly, this is holiday, but, like, I feel like this would be really good in the summer, too. The cranberry. It's kind of giving me a little bit of PTSD from, like, a cranberry vodka, but it tastes really good. Honestly, would make a good mixed drink. I think that's why it's giving me PTSD, because it would taste really good with vodka. But, Yeah. Yummy. Try it. Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. I'm almost at Ralph's Coffee to meet Jenna, Hazel, and Sammy to shoot. And I'm highly regretting my decision because I just do not feel good. I know I mentioned last night, I think I've been sick, and I definitely am. But I took NyQuil last night and passed out, so I felt like I got a good night's sleep and that I could like shoot this morning, but now I just feel crappy and I'm so sorry that my arm is shaking so much. This isn't helpful either, but I'm about to be at Ralph's so I can show you some of the cute Christmas decor at least. Hello you guys, it is Thursday morning and I woke up a little bit ago and walked and got um, a chai tea latte from Hutch and Waldo. If you know, I think I've mentioned this before, it is literally my addiction to the best chai tea ever. 
and I get it with a shot of espresso. And then this time they had seasonal flavors, so I asked for one pump of gingerbread. Chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Um, but it is Thursday morning. I had my holiday party last night. Yesterday was just a really long day. I left my house at like, um, I left my house at like eight, no, 7.30 in the morning, 7.45 to go shoot at Ralph's for a campaign that me and Jenna had to shoot. And then I went to work all day and then I had the holiday party. I didn't get home until like 10.30, I don't think. Um, our holiday party was at the plaza. It was so nice. Oh god, my oatmeal. I'm gonna have to sit here with my oatmeal. Um, but yeah, the hol my holiday party was at the plaza. It was so nice, you guys. I got a few clips. I was trying not to be like obvious though, taking clips, so I didn't get as much as I wanted, but it was just so cool. And um, they had food, music, um, I don't know, everyone was just like mingling and I had a lot more fun than I actually thought I was going to. But, so I had to come home after that. I also had to bring home all of my gifts that I've bought at our store for um, like families and my family and friends for Christmas. So I literally like, I think I carried home 50 pounds worth of stuff, which was crazy. But my apartment is a complete mess. I'm working from home today because I'm feeling it. I had two glasses of wine, a glass of champagne, an espresso martini. So I'm just like... And I was already getting sick, so I really don't think that helped me feel any better. Um, so I woke up this morning not feeling so great, but I'm making some oatmeal right now for breakfast. Gonna get started with my day with work. It's like 9 a.m. And hopefully clean up my apartment and get a lot of things off my to-do list because tomorrow's Friday. And then I leave Sunday, so just a lot going on. But I'm gonna really like out myself right now and show you the mess that I have to clean up in my apartment. And then we'll, you'll see it when it looks better like, it is there. literally so bad you guys these are all boxes i still have to break down i had to go get trash bags because i was out clothes i'm giving away ended up spewing all over the places all my gifts that i have from the company store uh, jackets clothes like uh, oh my god i'm i can't believe i'm showing you guys this right now it's so gross but you'll see when it looks better you guys i'm just like not feeling work today and i have a meeting in like 30 minutes i like really need to get prepared for but i was just opening up and organizing some of my stuff from last night i wanted to show you the cute little gift my boss got me because i thought it was so cute like if she knitted this herself i'm honestly so impressed the little wine holder with a flower on it like freaking cute it wouldn't surprise me if she did knit this because she's just like that kind of a person and then she got me a bottle of rosé whiskerel i don't even know <clears throat> i've never seen this before but can't wait to drink it and then she got me a dip tea candle, which I've never had a dip tea candle before. So excited to try it. I'm not the kind of person who like, I don't know, like I just, I would not spend money on like candles, which is like totally fine if that's what you do. But like things like candles and like scents, I'm just like not that into. I'd rather spend my money on like, I don't know, clothes or something. But I can totally understand why people do because this smells so good. Do they all have different scents though? They must, but I don't really know what one this one is. Is it just their classic one? I have no idea. So it's supposed to smell like berries? Anyway, sorry, I know you guys probably do not care, but whatever kind of candle this is, whatever scent it is, it smells amazing i've also seen people burn these to the end and then um like empty them out and have them as a cute little like, decor so i'll probably do that with this one it's mini and cute i feel like i could put like cute things in here so <clears throat> anyways a really cute gift a bottle of rosé and a cute little candle i feel like that's so cute so definitely get it and it came in like a really cute packaging too so anyways i'm gonna get my life together get on this meeting and i will talk to you guys later oh my god you guys someone answered my prayers and my 10 o'clock meeting was moved to three o'clock but i still have a 10 o'clock meeting it was like they got switched but the 10 o'clock meeting i have now i don't like to talk in oh thank god i like had to go over one of my proposals at 10 a.m and i was like this is like this is the face that's gonna go over my proposal at 10 a.m in 20 minutes no wasn't gonna work so so happy about that now i can just get my little life together um and yeah now i'm actually saying goodbye as i get my life together
later in the night, like 7, no, what time is it, 6.30, 6.45. Um, I have literally just been rotting all day. Finished work a couple hours ago, and I just, like, cannot move. I was debating going on a walk or trying to do something, but I really just want to kick this sickness, so I feel like I have to force myself to, like, rest and do nothing. So, it's 6.45, like I said. I'm going to get my little sauna blanket that I got off Amazon, which I'll show you guys, actually, because I don't think I've shown the vlog yet. Um, got off Amazon for like 140 bucks. I love it. I just lay there in my sauna blanket and like watch a show, sweat it all out. I just want to sweat the sickness out of me. And then I think I'm going to take like an everything shower and just try to feel better. Um, and like maybe do a little bit of self tan, wash my hair. I feel like it's going to make me feel a lot better. I think I might be shooting with the girls tomorrow morning. So I want to feel better for that. I want to take some NyQuil and go to bed. Honestly, I think my goal is to go to bed by like 8 p.m. I don't know if I can make that happen, but we shall see. But anyways, I'm going to open a little poppy while I enjoy my sauna. And I'm going to do the Doc Pop one. I love this flavor because it tastes the most, like, soda to me. Like a root beer kind of vibe. Like, it almost tastes like an old-fashioned soda, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so, I'm going to pour my little Doc Pop. I kind of wish I was more productive today in terms of my apartment. I did clean up everything, but I didn't, like, organize it all. Um, but I'm just like so out of it and tired, you guys. I just think I need to get like a solid 12 hours of sleep. Or Good morning vlog is Friday morning. I'm shooting with Sammy and Hazel in West Village. We found a really cute door, and I just shot there and changed into my second outfit. But I'll show you guys the spot. It's right by Cafe Kitsune in West Village. Um, and it's so Christmassy and cute. Here's the spot. Love the red door, the foliage. Hello, it is much later in the day. I know I talked to you guys about shooting content, but came home from that and worked for pretty much the majority of the day. It's like 4 p.m. now, and I just was starting to get my life together, cleaning up the apartment, opening some packages. Oh, I hung some of my pictures that I got in Paris. Well, I got postcards from the Dior Museum, and I thought it'd be a cute idea to get a few and then like um, just hang them up in a little corner wall in my apartment so i'll show you guys what i did there but i just got a beautiful packaging from dior and i just realized i threw away all the packaging already but it doesn't matter i'll just show you guys what they sent me because i got some really really pretty products i'm excited to use first up i already have this um hand lotion actually i'm gonna be like typical youtuber with her hand um i already have this hand lotion though and i really really like it um also just so aesthetic and cute to be like throw in your bag or something take it out with you so really enjoy this hand cream actually um, so they sent that, which I'm excited about. Then they sent this I'm really interested about. It's, um, does this like actually even work? It's a little nail care, like ointment they said. It looks like that. And I guess you just like put it around your cuticles. And honestly, I really need that right now. I need to actually do my nails after this. Um, so I'm curious to see how I like that. Maybe after I do my nails, I'll put it all on. Then I got the Dior, they sent the Lip Glow Dior Lip Glow Oil, which I've heard so much about on TikTok. I know everyone loves it. I never tried it though. This is the Color Reviver and Cherry Oil. So I'm excited to try it. And then they also sent Lip Glow Color Revive Balm. So this looks more like an actual like lipstick balm. All of their packaging is so pretty though. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice, you guys. Mm, okay. Then they also sent Dior Prestige La Micro Wheel de Rose Advanced Serum. So I'm guessing it's just like a skin serum. Excited to try that. Then I already threw a little perfume into my giveaway that I'm doing on Instagram, but they sent over two little mini perfumes. This little mini Miss Dior perfume that I might give my grandma because I think she would think this is cute. And I already have so many perfumes, but this one smells actually delightful. So maybe I'll keep that one for myself. And then a little mini lipstick. And I thought this color red was actually really, really pretty for the holidays. So maybe I'll try it out tonight if I want to do a red lip. But I just wanted to show you guys what I got there. Um, Revlon was also nice enough to send over a huge beauty box. But I already unboxed it all. But they sent over, like, I'll literally just show you how many. And this isn't even all of them. But, like, so many different colored lipsticks I'm excited to play around with. And then a bunch of different fun eyeliners, which I'm ex excited about. I saved the black one. The brown one and then this like fun rose gold one for myself and the other ones I put in the giveaway but I'm really excited to try like a pretty rose gold eyeliner little thing maybe I'll do that again tonight too um so that was it that I unboxed 
and I think I'm gonna try to do a quick little workout. It's like 4 p.m. I'm like still sick, obviously, but really now it's just congestion. I feel like so I feel like I could do like a like a low key workout. So I don't know if I for sure will, but I have to leave for dinner in like two and a half hours. Um, but I'll, my hair is already pretty much done because I um, did it this morning or I like blow dry it this morning. I'll probably do something else with it, but that's done at least. So I kind of wanted to do a workout and sit in my sauna blanket and chill for a couple hours or like for an hour and a half before I have to get ready for dinner. Um, just because I know we're probably going to go out tonight. I'm actually celebrating my friend's going away dinner. Um, my friend Taylor and her boyfriend are actually moving out of New York, which is really sad and bittersweet. It hasn't really hit me yet. I feel like it's not going to hit me until I'm like wanting to hang out with them and they're not here anymore. Um, but anyways, so we're going out to dinner at Bar Premium tonight for that. That's at 7 o'clock. So, and I think we most likely will be going out after and I just need to like have my chill time before that because I feel like going out is gonna like reel me back into my sickness. So I'm probably gonna take some Dayquil right now actually. Although I probably shouldn't take Dayquil if I'm planning on drinking. We'll see. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let me show you guys my little doer. Actually, before I show you my doer things, I wanted to show you how I styled my little um, new furniture piece for Christmas. The only thing that's different really, or that stayed the same is the lamp. And these books and I put my little light up Santa on top which you can light up easily I need to hide that cord though you can light him up and then I did this really pretty like kind of like branch looking thing I don't know I got it all off Target and also these like little wooden I don't even know what you call these like little wooden ball beads things um, I love that this velvet maroon Christmas tree though I thought she was really cute and then I also got this gold angel I've had these black candlesticks, but I thought they looked good here for Christmas, and I think she looks so pretty. Normally before this, I just had like my perfume and jewelry on here, but I kind of like how it looks like set up like this. Obviously, I won't keep this up year round, but I do like how, how it looks like decorated more rather than just having like my perfume and jewelry on it. And then I need to hide this cord. I hate it so much. I need to tape it up later, but I just have my candles in here and my fireplace that are like fake lit candles. And I like can't speak right now. And then I got these little Merry Christmas signs off of Target, which I'm stupid and I hate that you can see the tape there, but I think it looks cozy and you can't totally tell it's always there. So it doesn't bother me right now, but I didn't realize that I was gonna have to hang them up like that. And then I can't like really put anything into my brick. So I just put clear tape up there for now. So don't judge me. But then this is my little Christmas tree. This is a fake Christmas tree actually off Amazon. So I can link it for you guys. It's four feet tall and I thought it was really cute. I don't know where all my Christmas ornaments went. I must have sent them home. So I only have two. But then I got um, lights and these like little golden red beads off of Target to kind of make it look a little bit more spruced up. And then I got this cute little lit up star on top. But I got this on a trip upstate. And then I got the little croissant guy from paris i love him um and that's pretty much all my decor i have like some decor on my coffee table right here it's a little like tray and snowman and then i got this little green christmas pillow off target too so don't mind the mess over here this is my paintings that i wanted to show i thought it was a cute spot to do it like as you're walking into the bathroom because i didn't have really anything hanging here and i thought they were like cute and small enough that it would just be an, a fun little accent um, and they're just all postcards that I got from the Dewar Museum. So they're like old fashioned photography prints and then also some like designer sketches or whatever. So yeah, I thought that was fun, but that is what the apartment looks like. I know, oh my God, it's such a mess, but that's what she looks like for Christmas right now. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. I don't think I got any clips last night of me going out which I regret, but I was in a, such a rush to get to dinner. I was 20 minutes late. And then I just celebrated my friend Taylor's last night here. So it's very in the moment and it was bittersweet, but I ended up getting home at like 1.45, I think. So I slept in a little bit until like 9.15, I think. And it's like 11.15 right now. I've just been rotting all morning, honestly. Made coffee, made some oatmeal for breakfast and posted a reel that took me far too long to edit. And now I just like need to get a workout and I haven't really worked out at all this week because I've been sick and I'm still pretty congested. But <clears throat> other than that, I'm feeling better. So I wanna get in a small little workout today 
and then I'm gonna go to hot yoga tomorrow morning before my flight back home so I like fully feel better um but yeah I just feel like a workout today is gonna be what makes me feel better because I have a lot I need to get done I need to film a reel for a brand and I have like three returns I have to do um I wanted to get my cousin a Christmas present somewhere in the city I kind of wanted to run to Sephora. I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of like random stuff I need to do. And I need to leave for my flight tomorrow probably at like 11, 11.30. So I don't have a ton of time tomorrow morning either to do anything last minute. And I also wanted to like organize and really, really deep clean my apartment before I come back. Because I get back the 28th from Christmas. And my friend Mary is going to be staying with me. And she also gets on the 28th. And she's going to be staying with me until the 7th of January. So I just feel like I need to get this place in like tip-top shape before she comes and i have like a lot of people and things in here so anyways we're gonna do a little form sammy clark workout and take the day from there okay guys just got done my form workout it's a 35 minute upper body one and i like have not really truly worked out honestly in like probably over two weeks or exactly two weeks i left for paris last friday or two fridays ago and I worked out that week, but then I didn't work out the whole week of being in Paris, but I was walking a ton and I didn't work out this week really because I was feeling sick. So it's just a lot tougher than I was expecting, but I really want to get back in the groove of things because I just feel like very like bleh right now, especially during the holidays. So I'm going to buy a week unlimited of um, the studio called Power Life in Kansas City. It's like a hot yoga studio. I think I'm going to buy a little week pass. So when I'm home for Christmas for 10 days, I can at least like get a workout in that's one thing that really helps me being home for the holidays is like sticking a little bit to a routine um so I like to go to workout classes I don't have like a place to work out in my house so I like have to go to a workout class or a studio um which is honestly nice to just get out of the house and be able to do so I'm gonna buy that but I just got in my workout I'm gonna sit in my sauna blanket for a little bit I was gonna do this tonight but I'm already sweating and gross and I want to shower, so I figured why not do it now. And then I'm going to put an ice pack on my face, have a little self-care moment, shower, and then I'm hoping I feel up and ready to, like, put some makeup on and do all the things I need to do today. So I want to show you my sauna blanket, though, that I got off Amazon. The brand is called Life Pro, and I know they have, um, I know the brand I was looking at originally was called Higher Dose, and those sauna blankets are, like, $500, and I've never tried one, so I don't know the difference, but this thing works pretty great, so... If you can save the money, I highly recommend it. I think it was, again, like 150 bucks on Amazon. And it's just nice because I don't have like a sauna to go to anymore. Now that I don't belong to a gym. And it's just nice to be able to like lay down in it, be on my phone, watch a TV show. I stay in it for like 35 to 40 minutes. So I'm sure if I, I do think that like if I were in an actual sauna, I'd probably sweat a little bit. I don't know, I sweat a lot on this thing. I know it's just different because you're in a blanket versus when you're in a sauna, you're in a whole room that's that hot. So... I still come out of this like dripping in sweat though. But anyways, I'll just show you. This is what she looks like. And the lighting is actually horrible, but I just get in it like a little blanket. And then it has this little, sorry, everything's a mess. It has this little remote on it that you can set like the time. You can turn it on and off and then the temp. So right now it's at 136 degrees, 138. And it's like gonna keep going up until whatever I set it to. So like right now it's set to 158 and I'm just gonna turn the time up to 45 and hop in this and then I'm watching Jenna's vlog while I do it and we're just gonna enjoy that and chill for a sec okay guys I know I look scary <laughs> but I just got in the sauna and got in the shower and I got this like all over ice face mask from Amazon I love it the other side is just like I'll show you when I take it off all ice I just put in the freezer and then put it on and it like seriously deep puffs my entire face it also came with a it came in a pack of like a bunch of other things so i also have just an eye mask one if you don't want the full face one but i love the full face one because it really deep puffs um and yeah i just got the shower so i'm going to chill for a little bit and then we'll see where the day takes us hello you guys it is a little bit later in the day i didn't really vlog much today because i just left my apartment like two and then was out running errands for honestly like a couple of hours it took me a while to return stuff in soho because soho is just a mayhem today but of course i like didn't get much done around my apartment because i was gone all day and then i went to zara to return this jacket and i have no self-control that when i go into zara i and return something i just like i have to get something else for the equal amount and then it just feels like that's just like girl math to me it feels like a 
like I'm not spending any money even though I am 1000% spending money but wanted to show you what I got and the lighting is kind of crappy but actually it's not that bad for being at nighttime I have you guys in a different angle so I have on the sweater on that I just got that I love I know it's kind of bad lighting but it's this really pretty dark brown color and I told myself that I'm gonna buy sweaters from Zara really anywhere I just want them to be like good quality and even though this one was pricier I at least feel better about it because I feel like it's not gonna get just like like gross after a season's worth of wearing it I'll have to like get rid of it at least I know I can keep this for a couple years so this one's 130 which is a little bit pricier for a sweater like I said but felt like it was worth it and it was a very classic staple piece I like I also don't have anything with this like dark brown pretty color anyways it's 100% wool and I just what I really liked about it was this fun neckline I don't feel like I've seen anything like this um around right now and I just thought it was really pretty I like how it like kind of like you can make it like go up and look a little bit cozier and it's just like it gives a little bit something to the sweater I'm thinking I'm wearing a medium and I got it to be a little bit oops, longer so I really like it I think it'd be really cute just with like big comfy jeans and like Uggs or something for Christmas even would be really cute but I really just like this this little neckline I thought it was fun so this is that sweater and then I'm gonna try the other one I got for you guys actually but I also got this really adorable little wool gray and like gray and white striped sk pleated skirt I've been loving pleated skirt lately skirts lately and I just thought this one was so cute and a really really good quality it's a nice thick wool quality this is a little bit pricier too it's like 80 bucks but like I said if I'm gonna be spending money at Zara I feel like I might as well they have really good pieces that you can find that might just be a little bit pricier but I feel like that's more worth it than in the past I would just like buy I would do like huge Zara hauls for like one season then get rid of it so 80 bucks but I thought it was adorable. I got this in a size medium. I haven't tried it on yet, but I think it's going to be really cute. And then I think it's going to go with this other sweater I got, which is like a very big, chunky, dark gray cardigan. But what I love about this is it has these little like scarf things that go over it that I've been seeing trending this season, but I haven't gotten anything like this yet. So I thought it looked really cute. Let me try it on really quick and I'll show you. Okay, I was just fully talking to the camera for like five minutes thinking this was recording, but I tried on this big cozy gray cardigan I got. This one is also 100% wool. It was also 130. I got this in a small though and it's pretty big. Like the sleeves are huge on me, but I do like that it's oversized. Um, and I love this dark gray color. What I really liked about it is that it had this like wraparound scarf part. I thought it was a scarf, but really, they look like fake sleeves so it looks like you just already have like a sweater like another sweater draped over your shoulders which i really like because i love that look of having a sweater draped over your shoulders but sometimes it just looks too bulky or like you have to find the perfect sweater to like make it look chic and like put together so i kind of love that this already has it um i like the brown sweater a little bit more than i thought i would and i like this one a little bit less than i thought i would so i'm gonna style this a few ways and just make sure i want to keep it but i do think i'm going to i think it'd be really cute just with like black leggings and tennis shoes honestly while i'm home um it's just a very cozy easy thing to throw on with like black trousers would be good to go into the office um and even like the little pleated gray skirt i think would be cute with like tights and loafers or something so love this one too and that's really all I got today. I did two other returns to Cezanne, but yeah, that's pretty much all that's on the agenda. My apartment is, of course, kind of a mess, so I'm going to clean this up and get ready to leave tomorrow. I have to pack tonight, just like a whole, whole lot going on, so I think I'm going to end off the vlog here. I might try to vlog when I'm home for Christmas. I haven't really decided yet if I have like stuff to vlog, then I will, but if not, then I might not, but we'll see I feel like it'd be fun to do it at home but I just feel like being at home for me is always a little bit stressful so it's kind of a lot to vlog at the same time but I definitely will try and I know this was gonna be like kind of holiday-esque and didn't really end up being that holiday-ish because the holiday party I was supposed to go to tonight got canceled but and I didn't end up doing as much holiday stuff in the city as I wanted to but I am still always so happy to have you guys and I hope you still enjoyed the vlog. Um, and I come home from Christmas on the 28th and my friend is gonna be here. We're gonna have like a Christmassy time in the city then. We're gonna do like we're seeing a Rockettes show and we're spending New Year's Eve here and just like all that fun stuff. So I'll definitely vlog that so you can see more Christmas in the city vibes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.